Swisher House, man. Can you talk about that label and just that team over there? Because it was a lot of talented folks over there, too, getting busy. Pow Wow is my brother and my favorite, and Pow Wow taught me a lot. Yeah, yeah. Pow Wow taught me how to kiss babies. He taught me how to stay. I used to be so impatient. I'm ready to go. Pow Wow is a real professional. Yeah. And uh, that's my brother from another mother. I love him to death. He can have this shirt that I got on right here. Um, he, uh, when I went and got locked up, when I came out, Pow took me on tour with him, was giving me six, seven, eight thousand hours a show. I didn't have a quarter. Mm. Uh, man, Pow Wow used to be leaving his Bentley at my house. He don't even remember it's over there. <laughs> Gotta call him and take it back. <laughs> Pow, too nice. Yeah. He the nicest person in the world. You know what I'm saying? And he always gonna tell everybody I'm his favorite rap. Paul used to be doing interviews and I had to bump him under the table and stay talking. Stop talking about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna be, he gonna, hey man, he doing shit like, man, if y'all not gonna let Kiki come on 106, uh, I ain't going. Come uh, on. Uh, uh, um, I'm going to in the basement, Kiki got to go. Yeah. Man, he did all that. And what's his main thing is, is, don't ever do a show with Powell, because he, he, he signed every autograph. <laughs> it's 5,000 now. It's supposed to be 5,000. <laughs> we are number 4,400, Lord. Please <laughs> let him out of here. You know what I'm saying? And he taught me that never missing, always on time. Yeah. And G-Dash, it, he can't do no wrong with me. I mm. needed 50,000 dollars of guys. Jay, they came and got me. Yes, sir. T. Ferris is my brother. I love him to death. We didn't fought tooth nail and everything. <laughs> no, no, and I still answer the phone and do anything he asked me to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. He the one came and got me. And uh, that was a great. Michael Watts yeah. is my second favorite DJ behind Screw because Michael Watts is a bad mother. That's right. Don't <laughs> get it twisted. Woo. Ain't nobody Screw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I tell people they different, man. Screw is... Is is super. Watts got more things that he could probably do than Screw because it was more things to do that came. Yeah, studio and mixing. Yeah. Screw wasn't all at the studio with the book. Screw is the a monster of sound and and era and time and and we didn't know how to make that song go in that other song. And I was like, I ain't saying you throw that doing it now, yeah, but yeah. what about when we never seen it before? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's a difference when, yeah, everybody can scratch and chop and slow and bring it back now. Yeah. But what about when we never saw that before? Come on. <laughs> what about when this music has been forced on us? So I always tell people that's a different, but I love Watts. He done a lot for my career. ABA, man, I'm five foot eight. Watts used to have me feeling six five. Yeah, yeah. Man, Watts had me feeling like I'm six six. <laughs> he gonna have you feeling. She sounding crazy. G Dash, yeah. man. Me and G Dash still business partners to this day. Yeah. And me and Fresh. So the Swish House thing for me, man, I'm a G, man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real street. So it ain't no outside noise that can really, you know, I stand up. I am the captain. And um, I understand the assignment as when I make big decisions, everybody ain't going to always be happy. But I can live with it. Yeah. Yeah.